G'day. Every day we get up and check the weather. It's just what we do. We look outside to see what the day will bring. Is it rainy? Is it sunny? Are we expecting high or low temperatures? Is it snowy? Whatever it is, it will play a large influence on the direction the day will follow. Weather impacts our movements. It has a significant effect on our livelihoods, our communities and the profit and loss of companies. Droughts, storms, rain, floods, snowstorms all cost money. Businesses exposed to the weather are starting to understand that by using weather certificates they can transfer this weather risk from their balance sheets and into the market. Weather certificates can be bought to cover too much rain, too little rain, too high or low temperatures, too much snow. They are simple to understand, efficient and transparent. Businesses see the use of weather certificates as a means to hedge losses or interrupted cash flow caused by adverse weather. No need for the loss to be assessed or to submit a claim. Payments are automatic. I guess the question you're asking, will the use of a weather certificate be appropriate for me? Well, if the weather affects your ability to earn, then yes it is. Businesses, governments, municipalities, not-for-profits, all in different degrees, have an exposure to the weather. Therefore, the use of a weather certificate is appropriate. The reasons why so many people have started to use weather certificates are that they're simple to understand. They're transparent. Premiums are geared to the risk of the event occurring. Contracts are simple and can last up to a couple of days, several months or a season. The gatekeepers of the data are official government meteorological offices. The payout process is fast and efficient. So what type of businesses are currently using them? Any agricultural based companies? Governments? Event coordinators? Restaurant owners? Anyone can use a weather certificate to cover losses as a result of adverse weather. Adverse weather, financial protection.